We're with Eastern Connecticut field hockey captains Finley Ahern and Kelly Guerin coming off the big win over Connecticut College. Kelly, first win ever over Conn. Your thoughts on that? It was an amazing feeling to win over Conn College. Um, this is the first time that we beat them, and it really just felt so good knowing their past history of wins and our game last year with them. Um, they beat us, so going in, I don't know everyone's thoughts, like if they had, thought we had the confidence to, but we were able to come together and play as a team, and it was just a great feeling to be able to beat them. Well, Finley, coming into, in your in your three years, they had outscored Eastern 16-1 to 1 mm -hmm. coming into this game. It, does that game sort of serve as an indication of how far this team has come in a couple of years? Oh, definitely. I think um, as, like, Kelly and I have grown up as players and just in the school and program. And then our incoming freshmen have added to like our team's success every year. So like since we were freshmen, we've really like been building and building the program. And I think this that game was like totally an indication of how much of a threat we really are now. Definitely. Well, the coach thought it was probably the best game that you guys have had since she's been coaching here. Has it been the best game that you think you guys have played? since you've got here? Definitely one of the best because we really were playing as, an, as a team the entire time. Yeah. Um, our passing was on, we had good hits, we were communicating because sometimes that slows down when we get tired, we don't talk as much, but I don't think it stopped at all during the game and we really just meshed and put it together and it worked. I just think that everyone really wanted it. You could tell in ev the yeah. way everyone was playing, everyone was going to the ball, we were talking to each other, like helping each other out, having each other's backs and yeah. like we played to win, we didn't play to not lose. Yeah. That's what that's kind of been our mindset this whole season is playing to win and not just like playing defensively and whatever and just going for it. Well, that showed that showed all year, but it either especially showed against Con College mm -hmm. that you're not playing defensively. Mm -hmm. You're playing. You kept right. coming at them. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's possible? Did you get any feeling from Con College when the game was starting and proceeding that maybe they weren't mentally into it? That they thought maybe they were just going to walk in? Oh, I definitely do. I didn't think that they were expecting us to be like as talented and put together as we were. And then I think that it kind of scared them, and they weren't like as ready. And then when they saw oh my god, like Eastern, they're here, what is this? Um, and like once we put it in the cage, I feel like they came out a little harder, but we didn't stop our intensity and we were just able to keep it up the whole time and never let them score. You know, it seems sometimes if you go into a game overconfident and then by the time you realize that, uh-oh, this other team is good, a lot of times mentally, isn't it hard to change that mindset? Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, I think they definitely thought they had this game in the bag, but we scored pretty early on, and then after that they just couldn't get it together themselves, and we just kept pushing and pushing, and the final score proved that. Well, do you think they panicked at all? As the game proceeded and they realized that you guys were not going to back off, did they think they, they sort of panicked and said, we're in a little trouble here? I think you could tell, like, yeah. between their players, they, they weren't yelling at each other, but they definitely weren't happy with each other, like, the way they were playing. So I think it was definitely yeah. evident. I think it just frustrated them, like, as yeah. a team, and they didn't really know what to do because they weren't expecting it. And then we just never backed down. Well, Kel, talk about the defense. It was just phenomenal defense. Talk about how you guys played. As a unit, yesterday we played amazing. Like Everyone was going to the ball, everyone was talking back there, which is a big part, especially our goalie Scavo. Her, her voice on that field is huge. She's so loud, tells everyone where to go, what she needs them to do. And with that back there, it just really helps us as a unit and be able to carry that ball out of the circle and then get it up to our mids who can then get it to the forwards and into the other team's circle. So. It was really great yesterday. Well, you know, when you look at a team, a lot of times you look at the forwards or you look at the backs, but I think in soccer and field hockey, midfield is probably the most important part of the, the transition part of the game. Talk about the midfield in that game. I think it does sometimes get overlooked, but this season we have a very strong midfield. We play um, with this formation of in diamonds, basically. So we have two sophomores in the diamond, one freshman, and then me as a senior on the left side. And like all of us working together, we move up and down the field. We have the defense behind us totally supporting us. And then we have four forwards as options to pass to. So it's like the transition judge is great. They're always there. As long as we move together, it's just been great. Do you think part of the win was the fact that this team is so young that they may not be really that familiar with the history of that series between mm -hmm. Eastern and Con. So they're coming in going, this is just another team. Right. Yeah, I don't think that, because they probably thought about like the team last year, and we've changed completely. 
like a whole new field out there basically, you know. There's different players, people are in different positions than they were last year, and it's just a whole new team, and they weren't expecting it. But do you think our players, our young kids, didn't know the history that we had lost to this team every year, and then maybe our kids just came in saying, we're not intimidated, this is just another game? Is that I possible? I think they knew it was going to be a tougher game, and we all had to be there mentally. Kelly does really great pregame like speeches and stuff, and the girls really were focused through the whole entire warm-up, and you can just see it on the field the way they were playing. So they yeah. knew it was a big, important game, but they also knew it wasn't conference, so they just gave it their all. Everyone gave it their yeah. all. You guys have had a lot of success this year, but do you think, could this game at this point in the season be sort of like the defining moment and say, this is a legitimate team, or did that come already? I think it kind of already came. I think it came. I think um, other teams in our conference have seen the games that we've played and the scores of those games, and they're definitely surprised, as definitely. and they should be. Yeah. Like, you guys a little bit, there were some games you guys played this year that you didn't win. Mm -hmm. Does that continue to push you guys like, hey, we're better than that and we could have won these games? Absolutely. Definitely. Field hockey is such a frustrating sport because sometimes this final score does not prove what happened in the game. So it's it's definitely frustrating that we may have lost games in the past, but I think everyone knows that we still are a threat in this conference. Well, how big would it be for this team this year to get back into the playoffs because it's been a long time? Is that, is that a... Is that a goal? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. It's been our goal since the end of last season. Yeah. We said, like, as seniors, we want to make it to tournament. We want to go as far as we can. Last question. Big win. You hadn't beaten Khan, and now you got Keene State coming up, and you haven't beaten Keene State. Uh, thoughts on that game? I think we can absolutely do it. It's not out of reach. Like, all these other games that we've played in conference, some of them we've only lost by one, and those teams were shocked. And I think mm -hmm. we can definitely take on Keene. If we work together as a team, it's definitely possible. Finley, what do you think on that? I that agree game? with Kelly 100%. I think this past one has like really showed everyone that we can beat anyone, you know? Like, field hockey is such a game of, like, I don't know, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. We can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So you got a big one coming up. You're going to be against Keene State. And, you know, you're coming down to the fact that you're right in the mix for a playoff. But you know how it is every year that that last couple of playoff spots is always be ter determined by maybe one loss and there's four or five teams going after it. So... To win that game would really put you in a pretty good position, don't you think? Definitely, yeah. Well, ladies, thank you. Great win, and um, we'll see you on Saturday. Thank Thanks you.